Hello everyone. It is now um 9:46 p.m. on still on Thursday um June 27, 2024. So hold on, they're making my nose itch. And now I got to yawn. <sighs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So about 25 minutes ago, I got out of the shower. I did a video. I was going to put it on this channel. But because of the stuff that I was talking about, I put it on my targeted by the Psych World backup channel. And I also, to stay on the safe side... I age restricted the video and I put a link to the video in the community post I put at least four or five posts in the community post on this channel earlier today so I did not leave out of the, like, after breakfast, I did not leave out of the hotel room at all, whatsoever. And my twin sister wasn't the only one who gave me perp activity online. So, but all it took was her to give proof that you know I promised y'all and I told y'all that I was gonna receive some perp activity in harassment and lo and behold it comes from my own doggone twin sister because she was mad at me for exposing um you know her wicked ways and being a bad parent and an abusive twin and everything so look in the community tab on this channel and see like the four things that I posted today so and, and yeah I got perped by other perps and cussed out and you know attacked and you know online and everything today by other perps too so, like, I don't even know if my twin sister had been surveilling me because, I mean, my video wasn't even upload. My video was like a little bit over two hours long. And I hadn't even had the video up for a whole hour. And she already got mad. At me talking about her leaving her kids to eat pop tarts and hot pockets and then she started to harass me about with the fake AI generated picture of um a fake AI generated picture of um red velvet cake flavored pop tarts with some strawberry and lemons and then you know harassing me with more red velvet cake and then she's perping and harassing me and teaming up with the traffickers to stalk, follow, and harass and sabotage me. But at the same time, she's lying to people and saying that I'm not gang stalked. And then she's lying, lying and saying that she can prove that I'm not gang stalked. But I can prove that. I, mean, I already did prove that she herself gang stalked me today. You're gang stalking me. While lying to people and saying that you can prove that I'm not being gang stalked. But you're doing the gang stalking towards your own twin sister. But you're... It's ironic that you're bullying and attacking and attacking and mocking and laughing at and making fun of me. But at the same time, people are doing it to you and you can't handle it. You can't p handle people attacking you and going off on you now. So they got many people make having speculations that my twin sister and the girlfriend killed the dog.
So it sounds like is that they blood sacrificed the dog Pippa on a ritual um summer solstice. I mean part of the um satanic ritual so summer solstice, if that's the case. But I thought my twin sister loved the dog Pippa to death. I thought she loved the dog so much though. And I didn't realize that she had the dog for fifteen years I mean fourteen years or something something like that. Or that the dog was 14 years old. So, you care more about that damn dog than you care about your own twin sister. And teaching everybody else how to be cold-hearted, cruel, and abusive towards your own twin. So I don't even know what's going on with them, but if you're practicing the dark arts and witchcraft, black magic, esotericism, occultism, then, you know, I guess there's going to be constant friction between us, um, you know. And it will be harder to reconcile. But it, there was never any connection or us getting along anyway. And if, if so, it's like for a very short period of time. So, I um mentioned on my other channel about what I ate for breakfast this morning. I had Fruit Loops and... um eggs and sausage and uh, apple juice and um <coughs> excuse me and milk with the cereal and then um so I didn't have lunch and I was hung I felt like I was suffering I was freaking hungry and the online perps th think that they can she has her cult followers trying to police what I eat while she flaunts off food hypocritically and thinks she's better, wor more worthy, and more deserving than me. So then, um, I think it was after 1 30, I took a nap. And uh, I think I woke up around four something, and it took me a while to fall asleep, even with the nap. And but I I ate dinner it was sometime after five o'clock, and all I ate was the chicken tenders from Wingstop. I ate the chicken tenders, and by the time I was on the third chicken tender, I felt full. I felt so full. And then, but I ate all five of them. And I ate the brownie, but I felt too full to eat the fries. But I figured that, you know, I would, thought I would save the fries to eat tomorrow for lunch. Before I leave out of here. And it's supposed to rain. Like, it was 9.38 p.m. and I have the screenshot. It was 9.38 p.m. I got a lightning alert on my phone and it's supposed to rain tonight even up until like at least 11 o'clock and then rain again in the middle of the night and then rain early tomorrow morning or something like that and rain up until 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. So it looks like when I check out of here, I'm going to have to, I'm afraid that um, I'm going to end up having to check out of here while it's raining. <coughs> Excuse me. And because of the Uber ride, um, I mentioned on my other channel, but in case y'all, you know, I mean, if you want to, you can look in the community tab and watch the video. But if not, I'm going to say it on here. That, um, I'm going to say it on here. That, um, the, oh, they make my eye itch. 
because of the Uber ride from yesterday. Wait, was that yesterday or the day before? That was yesterday. Um, the Uber ride from yesterday. Um, they they cause. I mean, they charge twice. And normally, my bank account would put a decline on that second transaction, and I would have got like a um overdraft protection. But now, my bank account did not do the overdraft protection. And so now, my bank account is negative. Not positive or normal. Not credit, but negative. $15.61. And so I will have to leave out of here tomorrow with, in the rain with no cash and menstruating. And have to be out on the streets tomorrow night menstruating and forced to hold my pee in. And y'all falsely assume that I, I have pleasure in living like this. While well, actually y'all are forcing me to live like this. I don't want to live like this. This is taking a toll on me. And, and I'm you know trying to avoid going crazy being forced to have to live like this. I can't take this no more. Never could handle it. It was always hard. <clears throat> but I'm going to say it again. In case y'all didn't see it or are here. My twin sister make a fake Facebook account that says Brandy the Poet. But she tells her cult followers, mock and laugh at me and say, Candy thinks she's an author. But how come you can call yourself fraudulently and illegally and retarded narcissistically and fake self-righteously falsely call it, glorify yourself as a poet. But you, you smear campaign and lie to people and say that I'm scamming. But now people are calling you a scammer and saying that you took advantage of them for money. And people are still promoting your fake cash apps. And, and, and people ain't got to take care of just one person. But they have to take care of you and Tierra. They got to take care of both of y'all. But I don't even know exactly how much money my twin sister gets. But sh she can make it like it's her, her business how much money I make get every month. And she thinks that the donations I get is her business. But she been trying to conceal how much she get every month. And make it like that's none of my business. But she thinks she owns my business. But what goes on in her life is none of my business. But in 2017, um, when she put up those fake videos about me and then put them up later on and put them on YouTube, um, in and, 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 um, 2017, now how ironic with the Masonic 33... She told me she was receiving from the veterans military benefits in 2017. She said that she was getting 3300 per month. And at that time I was getting like not even 800 a month from SSI and Social Security combined. I was getting like 760 something dollars per month. No, actually when I went by her house, I was actually getting 5 something per month. Because under Donald Trump, they were taking out Medicare Part B and taking out $134 a month for a few months from my Social Security for, from my Social Security for, for whatever reason. And I was financially struggling living up in that apartment, that Section 8 place. So due to this targeting and dealing with the direct energy weapons and the um, neighbor being bullied, harassed, and threatened by neighbors and then being hit with weapons, I cannot stay. I can no, no longer have a permanent place to live or a place to live long term anymore. So, <coughs> excuse me.
Whose permission do I need to be an author? You didn't need anybody's permission to be a poet. But how come you can accept donations? Well, I don't know how much you get per month, but seven years ago, well, almost seven years ago, getting 3300 that Masonic 33 And now she got to be making it about five, I mean, getting about 5000 per month right now. That's m my guess. But she could be making more or less than 5000 but... She's also getting perp incentives. And how the hell does she need help with rent money now? How are you financially struggling with rent money, but you can afford iPhone and vape? She thinks she got more rights than me and thinks she's better and delusionally believes she has authority, rulership, and control over her own twin. And now other people are calling you an abusive bully. <clears throat> so, I don't know. It seems like my ever since my twin sister got with Tierra. She has become darker and more satanic and more wicked. And it's okay. She's okay with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I was in pain today, so I couldn't work on any writings. And then I was sleep deprived. And not well rested. So I'm going to have to walk out of here with a negative. A balance in my bank account. With a negative $15.61. But I'm supposed to get the $30 back. thirty Almost $31. I'm supposed to get it back on Saturday. But then after that. My account will be a positive balance of $15.30. But I have to wait all the way until Saturday. So, I'm not, I don't remember if it's supposedly a light chance of rain on Saturday. But Sunday I forgot how it was supposed to be. But like around midnight Monday morning. It's supposed to rain, and I'm not sure about Tuesday, but next Wednesday I don't get. I'm not supposed to get the Social Security check until then. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm not getting. They cut off the SS, this tiny little SSI check of twenty four dollars. So instead of nine sixty three or something like that, I'm just getting only nine thirty nine. And because of the court date and the fact that it's not guaranteed for anybody to help me, I'm going to have to set aside more than half of my pay of my social security check and reserve that to take care of myself for the court date. Because I can't, I mean, I, I, it's very, it will be very hard and not guaranteed for anybody to help me. So, but then again, like I get paid on a third and I don't know the exact dates, but always around 4th of July or the first week of July is the fake Essence Festival. Fuck the Essence Festival. Cause they're a bunch of Masonic Satanic sellouts too. And then what they do, they raise the prices of hotels. They're all booked. And raise the prices and, and they're all booked. And it would be hard or even impossible for me to even get a room. 
oh, excuse me, and and then it doesn't help for me to be wrongfully banned from all Wyndham hotels because the online stalkers lied on me. And they're trying to run me off from my only homeless sleep spot that I know of that I can have. That's cruel. For me to have nowhere to go on purpose so that they can set me up to be put in jail, wrongfully put in jail for sure. Excuse me. And, and it's like, how is it that y'all are wicked and work for the devil and judging people and pretending like you are a Christian and pretending that you are righteous and know the Bible, but, but y'all the devil's servants? I don't understand. They're vibrating my body right now. Right when I said that, they started vibrating my body. But at the moment, it's 10.08 p.m. At right now, and I feel hungry enough to eat the fries. But I'm not going to let myself eat anything else until breakfast tomorrow. Because I don't want to eat too late, and I don't like to, like, after I found out the truth about, like, the acid reflux and stuff. I try to not eat, I mean, I try to not eat too late, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, so yeah, I would not have a negative bank account balance right now if Uber did not fake charge me twice, damn it. So, um, so like, I was forced to have to suffer this month without my supplements, but next month, I mean, it looks like I'm going to have to be on the streets more days or ask for, have to ask for more hotel room help. Because of the fake court shit. And that fake public defender guy. He's a perp and he's fucking shady. Very shady. Wow. They are vibrating my body. They're vibrating my entire body. Excuse me. And my hips have been hurting all day. So, like, next month, I will need to get, hopefully, you know, I would need to get my supplements. And... I need to get more batteries. I need to get more trash bags. And a few other things that I need to get. And um, stuff I can't think of at the moment. I would have to write a list. My hips are hurting so bad. They're back to hurting again. <coughs> Excuse me. But my anxiety is extremely high right now. Oh, man. I'm trying to turn over. <clears throat> but, you know. So, like. If I'm on this, what they call the. Illuminati assassination list or the New World Order kill list, extermination list. 
they're trying to force me to not live. And I still haven't got any, um, there's like, like, I, I, like, a, until after the jail and court situation, like, with the jail and court situation, um, I can't go live anywhere else until af after everything is over. And I don't even know if I would be forced to have to go back to jail. I mean, go back to jail, like, for a certain amount of days or anything like that. I don't know. I hope not. But I keep on praying for God to, um, you know, have them to drop the charges against me. Because it's a gang stalking setup and they're forcing me to be homeless. And think it's funny. So, my twin sister's bullying me and then simultaneously being bullied by people who were formerly her cult followers. But at the same time, a lot of them are still, um, you know, saying stuff about me and still hate my guts and want me destroyed. It seems like even though they turned against my twin sister, some of them saw the light, but some of them didn't and still have their same false narrative that she brainwashed them to believe um, they still running with the false narrative about me that she created about me. And then now they have a newfound hatred for her. So, I don't know. But my twin sister, how is she crying about rent money? Where's the gang stalking network? To bail her out. If she's perping willfully. Perping me. Willfully. Candy's not gang stalk. But oh yeah. You just gang stalk me. With the fake AI pictures of the red velvet cake flavored. Um, Pop tarts. With strawberry and lemon. Oh you wanted. Wanted the flavors to be extra fucking nasty. With adding the strawberry and lemon. They're making my nose itch. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I'm sitting here barely surviving and struggling. And y'all are falsely accusing me of living in paradise. I'm not living in paradise while I'm being fucking tortured. So, and now, like, my twin sister lied to people and said that, um, that I'm not loyal. Now people are saying that about her, that she's not loyal. But actually, how am I the one that's not loyal when the narcissistic control freak fake T.I. perps backstab and betray me? And when I speak out against their abuse, they want to cry and play victim and talk about it. I threw them under the bus. And y'all want to talk about Candy is not loyal. But it's but how am I the one that's not loyal when y'all betrayed me and was secretly jealous and secretly my enemies from day one? Like, and had an agenda to fake love bomb and trauma bond and devalue and discard and project. And um, everything else. So. And gaslighting and everything, you know. And it's a rough war to fight. And I'm in this battle by myself.
and as I said, you know, to be forced to be gang stalked and babysit, babysat by strange men I don't know. And a, a different fake homeless man every fucking night. And nobody cares. And I can't even um, feel safe. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been, I myself have been too depressed to trim my nails. And my nails, um, they're starting to chip off. And, you know, starting to chip off. And then, you know, when I had to wash my hair, then the, my hair would get tangled in my nails. And then my hair those parts of my hair start to try to break off and mess up. But my hair is already ruined. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm very hurt and sad that there seems to be... Doesn't seem like there's any chance for me to get to go swimming this summer. For me to get a swimsuit and go swimming. And my twin sister act like she delusionally believes she had the fake authority to make it like I'm forbidden and not allowed to swim because swimming makes me happy. But then they want to falsely call me negative and miserable. But at the same time, I do something to make me happy and y'all condemn me like you're not supposed to do that. How come my twin sister can have a fake iPhone right now, but... When I had an iPod Touch in 2010, she berated and condemned me like I wasn't supposed to have that. And like she thought I had an iPhone and was ready to devour and attack me like I'm not supposed to have anything nice or anything good. When I had student loan money, she thought she had the fake authority to confiscate it. And she, you know, blackmailed and, um, you know, used and took advantage of me. Taking advantage of my money. And now lying to people and saying I'm a scammer and a fraud. And that I want to be homeless. I can't believe she's doing this to me and why? But then... You know, she now she's making it like she's pretending as a way to mock me. She's pretending that she's financially struggling. I mean, but you can you just got Tierra some braids and got yourself a haircut and dyed it. And you make I mean, you get thousands per month and you crying about how you can't even pay rent. They're making my nose itch. I'm sorry that due to the sleep. Oh, wait, another. um. Oh, wow. Seven minutes ago, another lightning alert. Closest strike with, within 10 miles. Another lightning alert. So the weather is bad and it's, been, supposed, it's rainy tonight. So thanks. I'm glad I'm in the hotel and off the streets out of the rain. Oh, they're making my nose itch. But people have force muted me for a very long time. Like what Candy Grand Prix says doesn't matter. And my twin sister will mock me for saying about myself justice for Candy Grand Prix. And that Candy Grand Prix's life matters. Because then y'all try to treat me like as if my life doesn't matter. And think you had the fake authority to rob me of my personal rights. Think you got the fake authority to 
take my rights away or confiscate my rights. You trying to order me around and tell me what to do and try to control my life, but you don't like me and you're not even trying to help me. None of y'all fake ass perps. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, this year, I wanted it to be a good year, but everything, it was a bad year from the start. And and I really hope that I don't end up having to go to jail or I don't even, I hope that I don't even have to do community service or be on any kind of probation or anything like this. And they don't even care about my disability or anything like that. I mean, it ruined my year to be wrongfully banned from more places, to be gang stalked off the job, they're making my eye itch, and for me to be wrongfully arrested and taken to jail, and then I can't even get to go swimming like I wish I could. And I don't know what worse things will happen this year. Oh, and most recently, my phone, my backup phone getting robbed. And this phone right here was ruined by the police. But for the fake police talking about me trespassing on private property but you took my property and destroyed it you didn't have to break my phone and y'all didn't the officers did not have to take me to jail and then they wrongfully arrested me for as i was trying to um get my stuff I mean, and as I said, like, I figured that the perps called them up and lied again. And I, and, and I was dazed of sleep deprived and I was very confused. Like, I figured this had to have been a gang stalking setup again. I had just uploaded a video. And the perps, I mean, the, the police passed by multiple times and saw me by that house and said nothing for three three or four nights. That's how I know this was a gang stalker setup. And they wanted it to be like a winter solstice. I mean, no, it probably wasn't right on at the winter solstice, but they wanted it to be a satanic ritual sacrifice. I mean, I'm sorry, um, a satanic ritual um, kind of thing, you know. It wasn't a sacrifice, but I mean, like, the gang stalked me off the job and then had me wrongfully banned from someplace and then wrongfully arrested all around that same time, right around February 25th, which was, and on February 25th, February 25th was me and my twin sister's half birthday. And I got wrongfully arrested and taken to jail the day before I was supposed to get that um that first paycheck from the job. That I was forced to have to quit because they gang stalked and workplace mobbed me off the job. And made me feel bullied, harassed, and threatened me and made me feel unsafe. Or acting in threatening ways. So what the hell am I supposed to do?
So everybody's still talking about come live here, come live there. Um, I cannot move anywhere until after this fake criminal thing is resolved. This fake criminal, this gang stalker setup. They cornered me where I didn't know where to go and where I had nowhere to go. And they're trying to gang stalk and perp me away from the only homeless sleep spot I have left. I don't have anywhere else to go. And people are ignoring me and I don't, I mean, they're ignoring me and they don't even care. People are, uh, multiple people are ignoring my cries for help and everything bad that's happening to me, the, the satanic gang stalking cult network, the tra sex traffickers are falsely convincing people to believe that the abuse that I'm receiving is that they're falsely making it like as if I'm getting what I deserve. And I really do not deserve this persecution and abuse. I don't. No, they're making my nose itch. So, good thing I'm here tonight because... Um, you know, I hated to have, have to doodle, you know, later, I mean, uh, around later on in the, in the evening. And if I had to be on the streets, I would have been sucked out of luck. You know, and I'm sorry for TMI, but. No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. But, um, but yeah, but my mind is scrambled. I can't even think properly. I'm sleep deprived, feeling restless. My anxiety is really high. And, um, I wish I had more help with hotel nights. But it looks like I'm a, see I look like next week I'm gonna have to be broke and it looks like they're gonna be more rainy days. And um I need to have my supplements. I need my supplements. I need my supplements and I need batteries and I need trash bags and I need a few other things and I might end up going broke trying to get all those things that I need. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I don't know. But I'm tired of having days of being sleep deprived. I'm tired of the vibrating. I'm tired of the um... I mean, I'm tired of, you know, not being able to, I mean, to be forced out and out there and vulnerable out in the streets for anybody to have op open attack on me. And I'm tired of my legs swelling and I'm tired of the heavy pressure on my heart. I'm tired of being wrongfully permanently banned from places. I'm tired of being wrongfully judged and condemned and harassed, stalked, followed, and harassed. I'm tired of the noise harassment, noise campaigns. I'm tired of the cyber harassment and the cyber stalking. I'm tired of the invasion of privacy. I'm tired of the sabotage. I'm tired of the, um, I'm tired of them 
stealing my rights. Nobody wants me to be happy. And then y'all falsely accuse me of wanting to be crazy and wanting to suffer. This is not fair at all. I'm tired of being homeless. I'm tired of not being able to get to have any peace, quiet, or tranquility, or serenity. I'm tired of so much chaos and confusion coming from people and attacking me. I'm tired of the insta constant instability. And I mean, and I'm tired of being forced poor and forced broke. I'm tired of panhandling. I'm tired of having to ask for help. I'm tired of not knowing where my next meal will come from. Excuse me. I'm tired of being called schizophrenic, crazy, and mentally ill. You know, and I caught online perps harassing me behind my back and gossiping about me and calling me schizophrenic and mentally ill and autistic. Like the online perps, they harass me and call me retarded and autistic and remedial. They, I mean, I can't even get any proper rest. I can't even get to rest. I'm being stressed out. I can't take this anymore. My soul is tired, and my body is tired, and my mind is tired. <sighs> I'm just extremely tired. I'm tired of the lack of support. I'm tired of the betrayal trauma. I'm tired of everybody being so fake. I'm tired of being told, ordered around and bossed around and told what to do. I'm tired of being abused and disrespected. I'm tired of being cheated. I'm tired of being gaslit and fucked over. I'm tired of being micromanaged and micromonitored and surveilled. I'm tired of people that's bossy and controlling. I'm tired of being forced to have to wear the same freaking clothes. I'm tired of everything about my life. Nothing is nothing. I, I don't have any peace at all. I do not have any peace in my life at all. None. I get attacked and harassed every fucking day. And y'all think it's funny. I'm starting to, uh, well, I guess it's a good thing if I'm starting to be sleepy right now. Excuse me. <sighs> I'm tired of everybody having more rights than me. I'm tired of being forced to be in, out in the open and no privacy and no comfort.
It's like I don't even get the opportunity to rest and recuperate from all the attacks and abuse while on the streets. But I'm starting to feel sleepy. Um, a few like a few minutes ago, excuse me. <sighs> few minutes ago, I felt like I wasn't even close to being sleepy. I'm tired of people treating my twin sister like she's better than me. Or more worthy or more deserving than me. I'm tired of people younger than me trying to tell me what to do. I'm tired of being 40 years old in society falsely calling me girl and be, and trying to handle me and think they got fake authority over me and being abusive and disrespectful. But then again, I don't like older people telling me what to do. I, I'm tired of being bossed and controlled. Excuse me, they make uh, a little bit of um, water, tears, just trying to come out my eyes just now. Nothing, like, nothing seems promising with a permanent place to live or a job. And yet, because of the fake criminal charge and the court thing, I can't leave out of state. And then I'm tired of my twin sister helping the perps to um, rewrite history on my life. I'm tired of the I'm tired of the lies, false rumors, and smear campaigns. I'm tired of being broke and poor. I'm tired of being forced to have to depend on others, but I got no choice. I'm tired of being ignored and hated. So I'm going to get off here. I wish I had help with more hotel nights and food and whatever else I need. But, I mean, as I said, I will have to go out in, in the rain tomorrow and check out this hotel room while it's raining. And then, um, having no money until Saturday. And then have to be out on the streets menstruating. And being terrorized and attacked with noise, harassment. And any I don't know what perps might do. Who knows what to me. And I have to be forced to be up all night and can't fall asleep. Because I never know what attacks somebody might do to me. So, and I'm tired of people not caring about my suffering and what I'm going through. I'm tired of people intentionally trying to not understand what I'm going through on purpose. And I'm tired of false narratives written, written and spoken about my life. And them trying to rewrite history. And turn truth into fiction. I'm tired of lack of support. Oh, they're making my nose itch again. I'm tired of the on um, every all the online abuse too. I'm tired of perps making fake new com accounts to come and harass. And there's more things I'm sick and tired of.
This could have been a freaking blog post, but I put it in a doggone YouTube video, I guess. Imp do you call it impromptu? Um, uh, It was unexpected and unplanned. Random. I'm tired of the being restricted from and not allowed to drive. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm tired of not being allowed or able to have a car or the funds to have a car. I'm tired of whatever witchcraft y'all trying to do to me. I'm trying to, I, I mean, I'm tired of y'all trying to one up a disabled female, me. trying to one-up a, a disabled person. But yeah, I, I mean, as I said, like, in the records that I no longer have, they said that in kindergarten that I was diagnosed with pervasive developmental disorder, and then they ruled it out. And now people are saying that I have Asperger's or on the autism spectrum. But the perps won't allow me to have any proper testing to see if I really, if I truly do have Asperger's syndrome or if I'm on the autistic or on the autism spectrum. But... I heard that that explains my hypersensitivity. And then y'all, I'm tired of the MK Ultra. I'm tired of the remote neural monitoring. I'm tired of being tortured with the freaking weapons. I'm tired of you squeezing my organs. I'm tired of the workplace mobbing. I'm tired of the community mobbing. I'm tired of y'all cheating me out my damn food or trying to overcharge me. I'm tired of every doggone thing. I'm tired of the life y'all forcing me against my will to live. I don't deserve this at all. I'm tired of y'all. I'm tired of y'all thinking that my torture and suffering is fucking funny. So I'm gonna get off here, and I'm I'm, I'm gonna get off here, and whatever y'all can spare to help me out with, I have the fun. I mean, I have the information in the description box of just about all my videos, including this one. But I guess I have to wake up tomorrow morning with the expectation of having, like, no help. And have to leave out of here um, with no funds for food or nothing. And then be terrorized and tormented on the streets. And people, the perps won't, they will harass and torment me and won't let up. And they don't have any care for what, my, what I'm going through. My twin sister lied to people on saying that I fake Tourette's when, you know, when she knows damn well. That I was diagnosed with Tourette's in foster care and was even taking Clonidin medication for it. So I'm getting off here. Thanks for listening to me. Whatever, please, I need any and all the help I can get. And I, I mean, I still haven't heard anything from any jobs I applied to. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to live? I'm going to go.